All right, I'm going to try to squeeze in one more uh, demonstration and finish this up. Um, you remember that last time we worked on the red shape, and as we worked on it, we also combined it. So now it's just a single, it's just a single image that works uh, like that. We've added a little white triangle here and a little white triangle here, and we did this uh, thing last time where we used a straight line, added anchor points, and then patched it in with the pen tool. Remember, you can draw uh, part of a part of a uh, shape, and then with the pen tool, when you uh, when you roll back over, you can add on to it. You can add new anchor points, and that's what we did to get this. We also used average to make the feet so that they're relatively the same size. This one always looks bigger. I think it's because it doesn't have the outline in it. Anyway, so I, went, I just wanted to finish up with this, and here we are in outline view. You can see that what I've got left to do is there's a little detail here on the head that's really hard to make out, but I think it would probably be a kind of a continuation of this pattern with the, uh, with the uh, stair steps that we have here. Now, it doesn't have to be exactly like you see here. I'm thinking if we do one, two, three steps, that that would be good. We'll have a horizontal or a straight line here and then a curve here. We'll try to patch all those in. The top in the hat is probably the same thing. It's probably just a one, two kind of pattern with the with the stair steps. So I'm going to try to keep. I'm going to try to do that next, and we'll see how successful I am. With the uh, white arrow, if I select that anchor point, and let me think here. I probably need to select this anchor point. I'm kind of thinking to myself as I'm planning this. I'll select that anchor point and that anchor point. And what I think that'll do is provide uh, one, two, three kind of copy for me. And I'm going to do it this way. We haven't really done exactly this uh, before in the class. Let me just zoom in so we can see this. I'm going to copy just those two anchor points. Then I'm going to paste. I'm not using my option key, I'm just pasting. And what you get then is a copy of the handles that are connected to those two anchor points. You can see what that left me with is this little guy. Okay, so I'm thinking he probably needs to go up here somewhere and maybe rotate just a bit to allow for the tilt of the head. So I'm just going to kind of tilt it back this way and I'll put it in like that. That is almost exactly what I need to finish up the detail on the face or on the head. I guess it's a face. Yep, probably a face. Okay, so here's what I think I'll do. Remember, with the pen tool you can add on. So I'm just going to click. You look for that little slash. You see the little slash there as I zoom in. I'm going to click here and then here, and then to make a curve, think about how an ellipse is made. I'm going to click and drag to make the top of the curve. Then I'll come over to this anchor point and I'll try to finish it out with click and drag again to the right. Now you may be wondering why there's no handle there. It's because it's connected to a corner anchor. So I'm just going to try to round that on off as best as I can like that. Okay, now that was a, kind of a cool move. We had this to start with. We just clicked a second time there, or I guess the first time, then a straight click, then click and drag up, made this part of the curve, and then over here, click and drag over to make this part of the curve. Okay, so you can kind of see how that's working. I'm going to zoom back out here and zoom back in a different way. Again, I've got two different methods that I use for zooming. We probably need to edit this just a little bit. I'm going to bring this on over. Now again, I'm kind of improving on the uh, on the artist's sketch because I everything else has kind of you know got this width on it. So I'm going to try to keep that uniform and bring this up, and I'll probably bring this up just so we kind of establish a straight line from this shoulder over to here. Okay, you could maybe use a guide there if you want, if you needed it. Okay, I'm going to click here and I'm going to try to improve this curve just a little bit. I'll bring it up and, and do like that. Okay, now it, it came out pretty close to what I hoped for. 
and uh, here in preview I can see that I kind of need to do a little bit more again trying to get a straight line established across here just like you know similar to what we did down here this one's actually not quite perfect either so I'm going to try to make that a straight line that way these are you know pieces separate pieces okay so I'm going to go back to my outline view and we set up here I probably just need a and I want a step going this way and one going this way. So I'm going to just paste again because I've already got that in my clipboard. I just did Command V again and you can see I've got this shape if I need it. So I'll just select this anchor point by itself and delete it. Okay. Remember with the white arrow, so long as everything's selected, you can move the entire deal. This is probably way too big. But I'm going to go ahead and use it there. I'm going to switch to my black arrow and rotate it in. If I can get it to rotate here. Kind of something like that. Again, kind of allowing for the tilt of the hat. Okay. Now, these it, it, it's obviously not uh, quite the right size. So I'm just going to grab this anchor point. I'm trying to follow the path that's already there to shorten that up. And then I'll shorten this one back this way. Okay, now with the pen tool, type of P, again there's that little slash that goes across there. Click. I'm going to try to improve again on the design of the that the of the pens of the colored sketch. And put that in there like that. Switch back to my A, and I can even improve it still. Like this. Maybe like this. Trying to keep up. Uh, kind of an even width on these uh, details. This probably needs to go this way, and then this come down and over here. I mean, you could do all of this with a just with a straight pen pen tool, without all that copying and stuff. But by using the copy, I know that I'll get exactly the same angle here. Okay, so I'm trying to look straight across here. We want that to kind of match in, so it looks like that. Okay, and I'll zoom back out. Okay, so you can see how I'm how I'm kind of putting that together. Uh, there, are, I'm sure there's other methods. If you wanted to just try to do that all with the pen tool, I think it would probably be okay. You can see how the rick rack kind of gives the impression of continuing to go up, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and that's I think desirable. What you want to try to do here in outline view, I'll just all I've really got left to do is add type, and you remember with the type tool really best when you've got short type like this is just to click and don't even try to click it in its place just type it visible that font that we used last time the uh, myriad pro semi bold condensed uh, maybe it doesn't need to be condensed I'll select it and I'll go to just straight semi bold if I can find one semi bold condensed Hmm. There's semi bold. That sort of looks okay. Now I might want to crowd the type just a little bit. We haven't talked about this, but a lot of time with type, you'll you'll actually put the type closer together. That's under character, and there's a setting here called tracking. And if I just give it a little bit of minus treatment here, it'll push the letters tighter together. To me, that looks better. Just really tight spacing. It looks kind of like what they intended for here. But remember the simple click method allows you to do this. Isn't that handy? Now I can just push that into position and again finish my rotate. Almost looks like it's not bold enough, doesn't it? So maybe I'll, maybe I'll select that again. Remember you can triple click to select. Maybe go on up to the bold version of this instead of the semi-bold. That actually looks a little better. Is there a bolder? There's one called black. That even looks better. So even bolder. Uh, bold on this uh, on this type font to make it look really good. Now you can still size it. In this case you don't need to do anything um, with stretch. So hold the shift key down and, and make sure it's the size that you want it. Okay, I would just leave it like that. Make it red. And I think we used this red right here. 
Now my type's in red. I know it doesn't indicate in red when you're in outline view, but there you go. Now it looks good. Okay, just like we did before to make sure that this is the same size as this, just copy it with the option key. Rotate it so it's on the right plane. Then with the type tool, T for type tool, triple click and type in the word man. Okay, and that's going to probably look pretty good. Now this one needs to be, uh, this one needs to be white, so I'll make it white. If I deselect here, you can kind of see how we did that. Now just double check to make sure I haven't left anything out. I think that's everything. Remember we did add this instead of uh, instead of having his arm just end like like that. We uh, went ahead and and uh, change this a little bit. If there's anything still that you want to do, you can still move stuff around. I don't know. I think I'm. I think I'm probably there. Turn off the template. Evaluate the logo on its own merits. If there's anything else that you think needs to be done. Now maybe even something like this, where that man. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like it really fits there all that well, and maybe it needs to rotate just a little bit more. Okay, make your own decisions at, towards the end, even if it's different from what the uh, artist originally drew. Okay, that's it.